So, I'm just gonna come straight in. I know I'm gonna ruffle a few feathers. I know I might piss some people off or even might hurt your feelings. But this is something that needs to be said. Over a decade in this industry, and every single week I always get on the phone, it happens every single time I talk to somebody, they're looking for funding, but they really do not have an understanding of what the banks are really looking for. So on today's video, what I'm gonna get into is the two things, the only two things that lenders really care about. Now keep that in mind, only two things is what I'm gonna tell you. Whenever you submit your application, what do banks really care about? And I'm gonna tell you what they don't care about first, okay? They do not care about your nicely written business plan that you took all that time, maybe spend all that money to create. It just doesn't matter anymore, okay? I'm here to kinda of just let the truth be known. I'm, I've been in this industry, as I said, with Pennington Consulting Group for over a decade. You know, I'm, I'm proud to say that we've been in business helping business owners get access to capital. Uh, we work with startup capitals, startup businesses, established businesses, people that are looking to expand, people that are looking to grow. All different ways from real estate funding to, you know, lines of credit to merchant cash advance. We've done it all, okay? Um, and it still boggles my mind um, about how people still think that business plans matter. I'm going to be honest and say that I... I've never read a business plan in my 10 years plus in business. It just doesn't matter, it really doesn't. Lenders do not care about your business plan, okay? That's just number one. Uh, some lending products, I will say this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spill the beans, okay? Some lending products do have it as a requirement, like SBA for say, they usually ask for uh, your business plan as a requirement, but I'm gonna be honest with you, they don't really care about those beautiful written words. ChatGPT can write a business plan within less than a minute, okay? They really care about your projections. Your projections are the only thing that still matter, but your business plan does not matter. I'm just gonna be honest and tell you that. Another thing is, nobody really cares about how passionate you are about your business. I get people all the time to get on the phone and they tell me, you know, my, my grandfather was in the industry. Nobody really cares. Uh, or, or, you know, my mom, or, you know, somebody passed away. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell, <laughs> why am I doing this? Because I know I'm, I'm, I'm coming off too strong. I'm doing this for a few different reasons. I want to save you some time. Because when people are searching for money, uh, uh, they usually spend so much time and talk to so many different people. And again, they bring up these things that are just irrelevant. Okay? So I want to save you some time. I also want to protect your credit. Sometimes in the search of money, you're looking for funding and you have to fill out all these numerous applications and all these lenders are actually inquiring on your file. They're pulling your credit. And as we all know, when you have too many applications being pulled on your credit, your credit score can be affected and your credit score can go down. So I wanna save you some time. I also wanna save you, you know, I always say all the time, I don't know if you've heard me say before, if you've been watching my video, I always say it takes passion plus execution in order for you to have a successful business. I'm gonna repeat that. It takes, for you to be passionate, you have to be passionate about what you do, but it also takes proper execution in order for you to actually find success in whatever endeavor you're getting into. So I wanna save some of that passion. Cause some of these, you know, when you're being told no so many times when you're looking for money as a startup business, you know, it kind of can kill your passion. Even if an established business, if you're looking to expand or you're looking to buy some things and make your business better, it can kill the passion. So I want to save you some time. I want to protect you, your credit. And I want to also save that passion. I don't want to kill your spirit. Okay. And I know I already killed your spirit with the opening of this video, but I'm, I'm here to save a little bit of that. I want to save your spirit by giving you this, uh, this tips as to exactly what is the lender looking for in order for you to, to get funding that you need. Okay. So now another thing that don't really care about they don't care about your degrees you know we've talked about they don't care about your business plan we've talked about they don't care about your passion absolutely not now they don't also care about your degrees i talked to so many people you know i have a 10 phds or i have a doctor's degree in engineering and and i have this and and i have that it does it just really doesn't matter it's it's what i consider a compensating factor it helps to justify maybe what you need the money for for example if you needed the money for some type of engineering feat and you know you you have some this is what you you're going to end up doing it helps to have those degrees as backup but as it pertains to you getting approved getting actually really good reasonable terms it doesn't matter I'm, I'm here to tell you the truth it just does not matter i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest with you okay and here we're gonna talk about what actually does matter all right so i was and, and i've 
the, the reason I've done this is, you know, it empowered me to write the book about three paths of lending because I was just so sick of people not really understanding what different lending products are out there and how to get you, how to get the bag, okay? How to get your hands on that bag, okay? Because it's important if you're looking to, you know, start and expand your business. So now, um, the concept of three paths of lending introduces you to the three different ways you can get your business funded, either based on your credit, either based on your income, or either based on your assets. If you have not watched my video on Three Pats of Lending, I will have my editor uh, place it here, somewhere here, or somewhere in the description, the video about the Three Pats of Lending, so you can expand more about that. Now, what we're here to talk about is the two things, and the only two things that underwriters really care about when you submit an application. And if you put each and every one of the things that you prepare for funding should focus on these two areas and these two things only, okay? Even the document that you, the uh, underwriter is requesting for is to justify these two things and these two questions only. And these two things are, the lenders only care about how are you gonna pay the money back? That's number one. And then number two, if you don't pay it back, what the hell is gonna happen? That's it. That's all underwriters really care about. So when they're looking at your credit, they're trying to see, okay, is this person actually capable of paying the money back? Have they borrowed funds before? Have they borrowed this type of funds before? Have they borrowed this uh, this amount of money ever before? That's why they're looking at your credit, is to show that you have some type of credit history to justify what you're asking for. By the way, this video is brought to you by brokersolutions.org. And what we do there is we work with brokers just like yourself. And what we do is, I help business owners and loan brokers understand and simplify the various funding products that are available in the marketplace so they can properly serve their clients, stop the endless confusion and self-defeating pointless rat race they're currently in, and grow their business while maximizing profits by teaching them how to become a real business loan broker not just a glorified referral agent, okay? So anyway, that's what I'm here to empower you as a business loan broker. When you're having those conversations with your client, you need to have an idea as to, again, what is the underwriter gonna be looking for? What is exactly, why is the underwriter asking for those tax returns, okay? Um, why is this underwriter asking about that asset list, okay? Because again, goes back to the concept of the three paths of lending. There's only three ways on how you can get funded, either based on your credit, either based on your income, or either based on your assets. That's it, there's no other way. Now, why are they asking these things? They're trying to justify the two things that I told you they actually care about. They care about what, how you're gonna pay it back, which is number one, Okay, and then number two, and, and how do you prove that? Based on your credit, or based on your income, or based on a particular asset that you're gonna be purchasing. If somebody is gonna be getting into the trucking business, uh, for example, and they say that, hey, I need to purchase this specific truck. Well, clearly you show that, okay, this is my credit, okay? This is my projections. Let's just assume it's a startup company. These are my projections. This is what I'm anticipating to make uh, once I get this per a particular truck. This is the particular truck asset, and this is what it's worth. So the underwriter has an idea to look at this from a three different angle perspective. This is the credit to justify that yes, this borrower has the ability to repay back this loan. Number two, this is the projections. And they can actually double check and verify that information by looking at the marketplace to see if your intended projections are the actual you know, potential earnings that the business might make. And exactly, if you actually default on the loan, what is going to happen? That particular asset, you show them proof that it actually has value. So if worst comes to worst, they can actually quickly sell that asset and actually recoup their funds back, or at least save a little bit of the money that they lend to you. That's all the underwriters care about, because I always say this, the underwriter is hired. Their main objective, their main job is to protect the lender's interest. That's it. And keep in mind, ba banks are in business to lend money. That's how they make money. They have to lend money out to people, so they charge interest, okay? This is not rocket science. We all know that the banks charge interest. So they're, they're there to protect the lender's interest. Now you as a broker, okay, because this is the reason why I'm making this video. I'm here to serve you brokers that are in the industry and they're uh, um, you know, working with clients. And this should help you in a sense of how to even communicate with the client. As I said earlier, this video is brought to you by Broker Solutions Academy. And one of my things that I do in my course is, uh, we have this three paths of lending that we teach you. And also we talk about exactly what the underwriter is looking for. In addition to this, we, we take these concepts, we take these ideas and model them to how we even handle the initial call with the client, how to communicate with the client, what questions to ask when you're in that, uh, that initial call that pertains to exactly the two things that under, uh, underwriters care about, which is if, um, you know, how you're gonna pay the money back, and if you don't pay back, what exactly is gonna happen? To go ahead and try to see 
where are we going to get them this money that they're looking for? Are we going to be using their credit? Are we going to be using their income? Are we going to be using their asset? So anyway, that's the short video for today. I appreciate you for joining me today. I hope you learned something new today. There's going to be a link in the description um, for uh, my course. You can go ahead and go to Broker Solutions Academy if you're interested. If you're somebody that is looking to get into the business and lending industry, if you want to help small business owners get access to capital, we have a nicely beautiful course. Uh, nice be course, very comprehensive course, way more comprehensive than anything that's out there in the industry where we walk you through exactly the different lending products that are available in the industry we talk to you about understanding how to communicate with your clients exactly what the underwriter is looking for how to evaluate your clients and determine exactly what they qualify for okay how to submit these applications how to follow up with underwriters how to follow up with your clients how to get the clients prepared for the dance as i call it okay get get prepared for funding because that's another thing too uh, most people they look for money when they actually need money and they don't know how to present themselves in a particular way. You wouldn't go to a wedding without getting prepared for it. You wouldn't actually go to court for whatever reason, a traffic ticket or anything without getting prepared for it. You wouldn't go on a date without getting prepared for it. You wouldn't go to the gym without getting prepared for it. So why are you approaching a lender without actually being ready and understanding what they're looking for? What they're expecting? Because when you go on a date, you know what you're uh, partner is expecting when you go to the gym, you know what you want out of the, the outcome uh, of what you're looking for So, you know what it requires. You know what it takes. Okay. So anyway, hope you liked the video for today I'll see you in the next video